Good evening, everybody. Good evening to you all. Good evening. And I make a new bona. I greet you all. I greet you all. Um, I'm why I met your conano, as you all know. I'm why I met your conano. And today I want to talk about um, mysticism. Mysticism. I want to talk about occultism, mysticism, what it means, and all those things. Now, before I continue, I would like to call out my phone number. My phone number remains 070 305 705 06. You know, I, I posted this picture earlier in the day, and someone was like, uh, I should not say that myst mystic is not tradition. Uh, it is not ordinary. Like, it is not this. It is not that. Which is what for this video I'm doing right now. Because there are certain knowledge. Only when I go Bible. I know some of us, you don't read the Bible very well. What the Bible will tell you, I think in Proverbs, that knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. It was no yeeje. Someone that moves around, someone that moves around is more enlightened than someone that stays in a place. The problem with our people, we, we tend to stereotype things, and once we stereotype it, we put a particular meaning to it and we run with it. Good evening, Michael King. It's just like today in Nigeria, feminism is a negative word. Once you say you're a feminist, everybody's looking at you negatively. Because people like to be programmed. They like to be told do this before they can do it. They like to be told how to think. They like to be told that. Oh, if you like it. Nobody wants to study. If you want to hide something from a black man, Put it in writing. Put it in a paper. They will not read it. There is a post I made about rainfall. And in between that post, I thought how to make moon water. Someone asked me about moon water. And I know it is there, in there. If you read it, she's not the only one that has asked me. You would have gotten that information. And some people, even when you try, okay, let me not write. Some people enjoy videos. Let me do the video. Some people will still skip it. They will come back to ask you. A black man, we like to be spoon fed. I know I like it. Can I eat? We are in Rino. No, I tell you, man. Sometimes go out of your way, greetings, Okuyeme, and make your findings about things, so that you know who who. And your Bible said, "My kind of go Bible." Study to show yourself approved. Go can I walk? Go ahead. Your ancestors go around. They were not itty like most of us. They were enlightened beings. Amongst your ancestors were so many architects, so many doctors, alchemists, people that can turn things around. What are we doing today? And an average Igbo man believes so see how I'm about all the nanny we buano. Most of them are not willing to explore. To go into everything. Ibanime, Ibanime to understand that this is this and this is that. Mysticism and occultism. Now let me take the word one after the other. As no oko you won't ebu anketa. Kono kafa nebu anketa. What is occultism? What is occultism? Occultism is, is simply a knowledge that is hidden to the normal people, to the ordinary eyes. Not everybody has access to it. Occultism is not is simply a hidden knowledge. But because Nollywood and Mega Gay Wa You were gonna occultism is a hey ya he 
ekukumeku eyahi obuefi ozo na mane that is your idea of occultism you don't study this words to know the meaning ke malgo di feha meaning before you start demonizing it you don't study once you're told it is this it is that you pick it up just like the people that translated your bible to Igbo they told you that it was with Satan and you swallowed it hook line and sinker awagi ikwala ozugbo ozugbo you stereotype everything if any ne feminism ekwensu occultism mysticism is is this stereotype go hand chinese that in the way they find a kunaba greetings to ka odogu e way they find a kunaba gisi you're not ready to learn you're not open to new knowledge it's just like when a glass is full you can't add more water inside because it will just run over to be a waste that is how some of us are that is why we are not ready to learn occultism is a knowledge that is not open to many not many can assess it a knowledge of the supernatural something that the ordinary eyes cannot comprehend something that the that sci even science cannot comprehend because even your science and technology everything is ordinary it is spirituality spirituality is science it is art it is everything if any in a whatever it is you can think of it first existed in the spirit before it was manifested here for every scientific discovery you see is a spiritual hack but certain things have not been hacked yet. Well, even they are hacked. There are things that are still hidden. You go to SMI and swore, you go there to collect ritual. How did she get the ritual? Did you know about it before? If you didn't go there, will you find it? Will you know there are certain things you can use? Do you know that will you know that honey has spiritual properties? If not that they were they were they were there to teach you. Even your pastor is an occultic man. is it telling you to bring sand let us pray what is inside the sand how then is it telling you to bet with salt why because he has a knowledge that you do not have you want to pray you want something to be to get done you want to do certain things and you're like let me call him let me call her let him pray with you i know when they stand in the gap because why are you doing that because you know they have a knowledge that you do not have because you know they have an access that you do not have at that point why do they have that access access because they are occultic they know things you do not know they delve into realms that you cannot delve into nobody if you delve into the realms they delve into you'll be trapped there i find you i've heard stories about pastors going to people's houses to go and pray and cast and bind what they don't know and after binding and casting they die over the night because they are delving into realms they know nothing about you're casting and binding a spirit you don't know why it is there you don't know the pact he made with the family and you don't jump in from nowhere you jump into it you're binding and casting someone that has an occultic knowledge will consult such spirits and find out what do you have with this family what are you doing here what do you want if they say this put how do we settle this dispute that's why i said your as a wine your as a okay and some people think as a wine is queen and as a okay is king is no as a simply means priest as a is not king so that could be the only way now what you and that some of the words you think you know the meaning you don't know anything apart from what snolly would have taught you Nolly would have taught you that occultism is a kumeku heya he and obo if you're on a man and um, somebody using their son to do sacrifice for blood money that is all you know about occult what does he for zema and you forget that every knowledge can be used as a force for good and evil it is not the knowledge that is good that is evil it is not the knowledge that is good it is the person using it that is good or evil the right knowledge in the hands of an evil person will turn evil and toxic the right knowledge in the hands of a good person will become a force for good when a knife enters the hands of a cook they use it to cut onion they use it to make cooking easy when a knife enters into the hands of a murderer he uses it to murder 
He uses it to kill, to maim, to destroy. When fire enters the hands of a cook, they use it. He uses it to cook, cook up something. If I hear into a wedding, when he enters the hands of a murderer, he uses it to set the whole city ablaze. It is not the knowledge that is evil. It is you and I that is good and evil. Oh, monage. I can have some do well on the on ebu. I can ebu some people well on the on azo. It is the usage. There is good and bad in everything. You decide which side you want to use. Cultism is not evil. What is mysticism? You see some as why um I'm a do mode. I'm this one. Uh, some as okay, I'm a do mode. I'm do do yeah. I'm baba do do. I'm this one. I'm that one. I'm as a why in Ghana. I'm as a why in Jabba. That is mysticism. You're trying to unify yourself with this deity. That is mysticism. Acceptance of a deity and unifying yourself with it, deliberating with it, trying to understand it, working with it. That is mysticism. So your pastor unifying himself, saying he's one with God, is also a mystic. Mm -hmm. Now let's look at the word mystery. Mystery, something if any word of mother water, patience also coercion or what you mean. Greetings, Sherry Alkebulan. Patient say, "Where say no? What do you mean, Mios? If I na a mystery, if I na a mystery, ni bobu. If I o mi mi, the Catholics. If I o mi mi, ka from Kambo. If I o mi mi, ka wa denke. But you don't know what if o mi is. But once you hear mystic, you jump up. But why are they the the um them um, singing the mysteries in the during the chapel and all those things? It's not evil to you. But once you hear it elsewhere, aside from that place, you're you're reciting it. It becomes evil. It's okay." We need to start asking questions. Question our knowledge. Question everything. If you see this online, that if you use salt to bed, you can clear your path and your practice. You are an occultic person. Yes, you are occultic. Because even your neighbors do not know what you are doing. Some of them don't know it. You have a knowledge that they do not have. Because you associated yourself with an occultic person and you got such knowledge, so you are occultic. It's just like witches and wizards. It's another word that is bastardized. When I say all these things are bastardized, I separate it. You cannot use Igbo word. Yes, I know I cannot use Igbo word, to, um, English word to qualify an Igbo word, but I, I can definitely explain it. Some of you, you write long epistle of Agu. You're using English to explain it. Is, is that not you using English to explain Oku Igbo? Is that not what you're doing? You're not believing them, eh? That is what we do. Greetings, Sir Bella, or whatever. Is that not what you're doing? We need to be simple minded and one side, one side minded. We need to start reasoning. That is why we have our Konuchi. You need to start studying to show yourself approved. And stop taking things. Once I tell you something, it is like that. You take it to attack already. Even as I'm telling you now. When you're done watching me talking my rubbish, when you're done watching me talking my rubbish, you go and make your own research. Do your own findings. Dress, study. You're holding a smartphone, but the phone is smarter than you. It's a smartphone, Naka. You need to science and technology. But the phone is smarter than you. You don't even know how to use it. I tell you that some of you don't even know the function of your phone or what to do with it. When you go behind the production of phone, even the production of phone is a mystic, is, 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 is mystical to you because you don't even know. Do you know that if a zero phone, one of the major minerals, stones they used to um, do this phone, they brought it from DRC Congo. If someone had told you, maybe if there is nothing like phone, I'm telling you now that you can get this stone and you can use it to do video call and you'll be seeing me, I'll be seeing you, you will say I'm talking rubbish or I'm occultic. Of course, it's an occultic knowledge because even me do not know how they did it. But that stone was able to do that. And they are mining that stone. Your brother, San Ebu Fana Congo, Jaja, just to get that stone. Samsung, Uye, Sony, Uye, Antony, Uye, all of them fighting and covering it up. But no. People of the melanin skin, they do not want to study. They do not want to research. 
They do not want to ask questions. They want to be simple-minded. It was an it was an green the black. I was thinking yes. They said green is black. It was an white to the pink. Yes. What's an white to the pink? They will not check. Is this color really what it is? Kedurish no do ena cha ota anwa. We need to start reasoning. Mysticism is not evil. It is a part and parcel of Odenala. Because every Dibya is unifying itself with the deities and spirits it is working with. And they are employing powers that you do not know. You might be far, but you don't know anything behind the power. You just know that they are getting this done for you. They are employing it to get solutions for you. They are employing the help of different spirits to get you solutions. And you tell me they are not mystics. They are occultic because they have a knowledge of that power they are, they are, they are going into. Some I say that to Moneri, they know what that spirit wants. And they tell you, bring so and so, let's get it to do this for you. And you bring it to Melogia. That is occultism. If they were not there to mediate, you wouldn't even know what to do. You'll be confused. Can you see that? Oh, you're not a wafa, and I come on, I go. <laughs> when our family questions the spirits and listens for answers, where why he that is what they do. <laughs> I'm waiting for messages to show up, then they give you this is what they said. Nay, fake, but you're quick. Occultism, a kukumeku, kesi dog meeting. That is all you know. So, when you hear occultism, about Jesus. Holy Ghost fire. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. You want the blood and we a blanket. I do it. Why give me your possession? It is time to think. It is time to use your number six. Try to understand something for what it is. Try to educate yourself. Try to educate if you don't go on a quest for knowledge, you will never know anything. Beyond the fact that you're school, you won't know anything if you don't study. So when I said it, somebody was like, this is not the way. There is something called provocative teaching. And we find out about provocative teaching. When I was in secondary school, there I got secondary school. I won so many awards in my school. Writing essay. I'm a good writer. And the person that taught me, taught me something called provocative essay. So when I'm starting my essay, I start provocatively in a way that you even get irritated. It's okay. You want to read that rubbish I want to say. And at the end of the day, when you now finish reading the rubbish, and then you give me my score. For taking you that far, every reader wants a writer that can tickle their imagination. When you provoke someone, you provoke them to think, to reason. You take them a step further. Why is this person saying this? When someone are provoked enough, they go into research. They want to know. They want to know. But some, you don't provoke them. Idiots, you don't know anything. And it stops there. They go back to sleep with their itibori mentality. And they remain itty and empty vessels. Moving around. They don't want to know. They don't want to move further than what they have seen or what they have read. Even, even things I have read are experiments. <laughs> when I was in primary school, from my phone to be precise, because the rumor got around. And when you drink gare and eat kerosene mango, we had kerosene mango inside my compound. You would just die. When I came back home, I took gare and kerosene mango. I did not die. I'm still here. I'm this person. For me to be talking to you, I'm not somebody who just tells something. I'm teaching spirituality and spiritual things today and owning myself because I've experienced it firsthand. Not because someone told me, not because someone said, but because I went into that quest and things were revealed. Call me schizophrenic, call me anything you feel like if it makes you feel better. But this is my experience and you cannot play it down. You can't tell me otherwise. I question things. I question all knowledge. 
I said, Say, no man's in the bim now, told you that when you swallow more that other tree will glow in, grow, grow in your stomach. I intentionally swallowed it. Can't focus yet, to. Let me see how it grows. But that I never grow till today, never grow. It be like I shit up. Normally, I shit up. So, even as a child, I was inquisitive. I don't take things you tell me like that. As a child, you tell me, touch this wall and I will beat you. I might not be interested in the wall. But the moment you're threatening me without touching it, it will incur beating. I'm going to touch, I'm going to ask you why. Majuki, why can't I touch this wall? Can if a man is can get close to this wall? If you cannot answer me, I'm going straight for that wall. That will be my, my new mission and vision. That will be my new, as a new new mission. As an infinite answer, you might achieve no why. Because you can miss who Allah has come to the media. That is who I am. I'm not forcing you to be that person. But try to question things. <laughs> you don't laugh the less. Question everything. Question it. This is this, this is that. Okay, I've heard you. But why is it? My teachers, all my parents, wow, I fetch them with men at school. They, they keep complaining. I ask too many questions. Nah, joke, I joke. You're telling me one plus one is two. I'm asking you why is one plus one two? How did you know? I don't just take it. I try to experiment it. It's in five plus five about ten. You have to explain to me why it is ten. Oh, you now bring one object. Okay, you gave the number's name. Okay, I understand this better now. What is there? Question all knowledge. Question all things. I believe we Ibulia. Ibulia Nisi. Honestly, it's punishment to be normal in this abnormal world. And I can never be normal again. <laughs> It's just like Amos. If I explain to you the etymology of this word, you'll be marveled. Even if you know Amos, I will Amos. You know, I jump walking at Amos. If you know, I jump walking at Amos. First of all, what are the two words that makes up Amos? Ama and Osu. These are the two words. What's Ama? Ama is a place. Maybe like a village, a village square or somewhere where you find a particular thing. Like my village is Amech. That is Amech. That kind, a, a kind of Nifaga Yech. If it's an armor that cannot close. Just like somebody gives a name, Afamefuna. Amech, Amech. Something I met is I met you. They call me I want I met you. I say I don't want I met you. I want I met you. These are two different things. Ama is like a place where you find certain things. Now let's look at Osu. Just like you have masters, you have doctors. In Igbo we have these, and we have Osus. And these are masters. This is a master. Osu is like a doctor, a professor in their field. You have Diala. You have Oswala, you have Diji, you have Osuji, you have Dinka, you have Osunka. You have Dinta, you have Osunta. All these people are masters in their field. What is Amosu? A place where you find these people. That is Amosu. People that are extremely good in what they do. Osuji is expert, professor, doctor in everything about Yam. Everything about Unjoko, Yam, G, they are experts in it. So if you have when you want to find those Suji, you can almost wait to have a natural Suji, you can see those Suji. When you want to find those Sunka, you can almost see that you have a natural Sunka, you can see a professor in those Sunka, you can see those Sunka. That is almost. People that are really extremely good. 
That is why when you do something so well, an average Igbo person that doesn't even understand what they are saying will tell you, hey, oh yeah, I read on the computer. Oh yeah, I read on the computer. Oh yeah, I read on the Python code. We oh, yeah, have a computer wizard. Oh, that time wizard is no longer a to you when you once you attach it to computer. We oh, yeah, have a surgical wizard. That time wizard is no longer evil to you. We are the Amo Sunanka. We are the Amo Sunanka. Are you not reasoning? Are you not thinking? Most of the things you call Amo Su, they are simply a job more evil spirits, malevolent spirits in the Harena Kuhari. Food soldiers of Fundi Wobudu. That is what you call Amosu. Because that is your common knowledge. That is why when I say occultic knowledge, you fly up. What I'm saying now, most of you, most of us do not know about it. It's something I had to learn in my journey. It's not a man that taught me. It's not a woman that taught me. And I questioned all knowledge. You must explain it to me. So that when I'm explaining it, I will know what I'm explaining. You must show me. I'm done with faith. You have to show me and explain it. That is why I can be able to explain it to a two year, six years old. If I'm like a wakita, six year old game on Choya, what if any? Then, then, in time, they will write if you cannot explain it to a six year old, you don't know it. Hey, Maria, she cannot explain it to because a, a six year old, don't want it. They are the hardest to teach. For you to teach a child, you really have to come down to their level. I once read this story online about a man walking with the sun. And the sun was looking at the sunset. I was like, Father, Daddy, can you see the sun? The father yes, said, Yes, son, I can see it. The boy was like, No, you cannot see it. I can't get it, I can't get it again. Daddy, can you see the sun? The father said, Yes, I can see it. The boy said, Father, you cannot see it. It's so beautiful. You can't see it. You have to drag him, bend down so you can see it. Pia we bend there down. Water that's for me, I water on our feet and only they get to that level. He bends down. I say, Oh wow, beautiful. And the boy was like, Daddy, now you see it. But sometimes to really explain something to someone, you have to come down to their level of understanding, their level of knowledge for them to be able to follow up. Because we are all operating at different frequencies. I have to wear one more boots on phone line. I'll put all there. And there's the one um, zodiac signs. There's the one astrology. There's the one moon water. There's the one um, frequency and vibration. So I wouldn't body but I am one soul. Because if not, it's a body but he won't come out. Sheer ignorance and it's a body but. Illiteracy. It's not even illiteracy. I got a university. Because there are people that didn't go to university, but when you listen to them, when you tap from their well of knowledge, you will see that university degree is nonsense. Now, when you How many of us can still be able to do equally? How many of us? Some of us, where our spirituality ends is Ebuhanano. Egom chimuni, egom ado to goma agom, ena apu apu. Do you go out? Do you extra project? I said this sometimes I wake up and my house is so clean I don't I hardly go out. Mbula ajo na mokuo. Different places I went to. Do you still go out? Do you have out of the body experience? Do you detox your system to be able to reach certain consciousness, vibrations, and frequencies? Because you have no more to You can't go beyond the material realm with certain things that we do. That is occultism. Not everyone can do it. Some of you, because of too much meat and too much one is that you said that which which is and wizard are pressing you. They are pressing your neck. You cannot breathe. Sometimes relax. <laughs> I see where these witches and wizards take you. Relax. That is you dragging your spirit with your body. Your body dragging your spirit. Your spirit wants to go out and have an experience. 90% of what you call sleep paralysis is your body 
your body dragging your spirit. Your body, your physical body stopping your spirit from going out. 90% of what you call amosu, 90% of what you call sleep paralysis is your spirit. Next time, relax and stop fighting. You can do it. 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 You can do Relax. It's too cool. Me sa tu alu obe and experience life in its true form. Me sa putu alu, you will not die. You will come back. I put you on ice. It has you. You will come back. I was fighting it until I one day just naga de wu me wu mo. I left it and the experience was something else. So that's why I tell. If I'm teaching you, I'm teaching you from experience. At first, I believed it was some. Something is coming to attack me, choke me. Nothing is choking you, nothing is attacking you. You are just gasping for breath because as your spirit is living, that is the breath in that body. You can no longer breathe. Breath stops. When you travel out of your body, you know what I get declared dead. They will declare you dead. There's a lot you need to understand. Life is beyond black and white. There is a between. It's beyond it. So what am I telling you this night? Go and study. Go and check. Go and read the etymology. Go and read everything. Make your own research. Ask your own questions. But because I said all your DBS, they are called Tika. One said it's kingdom fighting against kingdom. They put confusion in our kingdom. Because I said all your S and Y and S working that they, they are called Tika. You came to defend your own. They are not occultic. Why are you going to them for solution? Why can't you provide that solution by yourself? If they are not occultic, why are you going to them? You can easily do it. Go and do it by yourself. Ask that question by yourself. Since they are not occultic. They speak to spirits you cannot see, you cannot hear. Ask that question by yourself. And understand the true meaning of occultism. You cannot separate it from Odinala. Because Odinala is simply nature, spirituality. And in nature, you find science, you find arts, you find everything. You find technology, you find different things, you find everything in nature. You find everything in spirituality. More than 3,000 years ago, if someone is telling you can hold something like a, something on your hand, like a stone, and be talking, looking at someone at miles away from you, you will say that person is mad. I don't know where. Stretch your mind. I've not used 4% of my brain. How much more you? I've not used up to 4% of my own brain. How much more in other go chacha? There is more that you don't know. There is more that I don't know. Kemara Amaro. Knowledge is inexhaustible. Exactly. According to our hierarchy. Knowledge is inexhaustible. I'm a me father of Wago. You can't exhaust it. You can't finish it. Another day, another one comes to throw down the one you've already learned. And you're like, Ogin in Afia, Ogin in a match of one audio tour. And I'm telling you, but when this one comes in, it changes the whole game, it changes the whole scenario. In the beginning of my journey, I fought in the world with the world. They showed me Shaggy. I had to learn because I came with church mind. I have to bind and cast and rebuke Ifema Amaro. I humble. We need to learn. We need to learn. Knowledge is power. Knowledge is the true power. Knowledge is power. If knowledge is not power, some people will not carry all their life savings and give to mark. It's because they don't have sense. Knowledge is power. If you have money without knowledge, the wisest man in your Bible, they said your, your God asked him what he wanted. He said he wanted wisdom and knowledge. Because some man over here and every other thing he can get. Knowledge is the true power. 
that's why the only way you were able to be as to be colonized was because your knowledge was taken away from you it was bended your power was sweet twisted and they gave they give us papers which they determine the values uh, I, I, it's like I, I'm, I'm, I'm going deeper. That place is a lock of Facebook accounts. Come put up. Let's start using this. <laughs> Use 80% of this and 20% of this. Because we are too emotional. 80% of this, 20% of this, and you're good to go. Why am I giving at least 20% of this? Because it is not everything that is logical. That is why it is occultic and mystery. Mysterious. Because you can't comprehend it with just logic. Logic cannot explain it. The metaphysical. Logic cannot explain it. This is just the little I can be able to explain. So, next time you hear occultism, Stop thinking it is your Nollywood occult. No, 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 no. Sweetheart, it is not. I brought your Nollywood occult. You want to go? So, I need to get off. I need to get off. But if you have any question about occultism, mysticism, please drop it. If it is outside this topic, pick Hold on to that thought. Hold on to that thought. For now, I'm done. What you can do for me is to help me share this video. Share this video so that others can learn. Amaro, of course, is not entirely evil. I'm not a witch. I'm not a witch. You are a witch. If you are reading Psalms, you are a witch. You are reading it. Oh, Lord, pursue my enemies. Fight against those. You are chanting spells. A witch chants spells. Nanda, what do you again? <laughs> a witch chants spells. The book of Psalm has spells. That is why I give it to you to read it for certain rituals. The book of Psalm has strong spells and they work. Hey, there is bullets. bottom pots. The book of Psalm is spells, strong ones that you can use it and do and undo. If you're chanting anything to change the situation, nah, 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 you are a witch. All of you are witches and wizards. Who is a witch? A witch works with plants, animals, to do things, to shift things, to, to manipulate things, <laughs> to make things happen. That is what they are doing. That is what they do. And then they chant spells. So if you are chanting the witches and wizards, I shall not die. All my enemies die by fire, die by fire, die by fire. You are a witch. I believe boom we are. I have been asking God what we can. As you know, as a rumbi, you are chanting spells. You are chanting. Those are spells. Strong words, incantations. You are a witch. You are a wizard. No this and no peace. Am I communicating? Should I go deeper? Should I strike it harder? Not communicate. We need to. When you're trying to bend the wheel, bend something to suit you. You are a witch. Otherwise, stay in that situation. Stop talking against it. Stop chanting spells. Stop chanting. Affirmations. Spells. Incantations. Panchanine. No this and no peace. <laughs> Alright. I'll get going. You all have a wonderful night. <laughs> so... If you people like, continue fighting yourselves and say that we are fighting kingdom against kingdom. Some people came on my post to come and say they disagree with me. I said, it's okay to disagree with me. I'm not against people that disagree with me. If you notice, if you come under my post, I see someone that 
quietly say respectfully i disagree with you i say yes you must not agree with me the problem i have is those ones that come and say hey what do you know about this one they are telling me that they are ignorant of habits that is what i that is what they scream once i read that comment so but i'm here to be giving free education Oh one of my 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 one of my colleagues I won't teach it the way another person will teach it and no one else can teach it the way I teach it so you all have a wonderful evening till next time we have a similar spiritual conversation let me let you guys be have a wonderful evening and don't forget to share this video don't forget to share Share the Sulu Makan and share button. Share and all them back. You will tell knowledge. You was like a one leggy keep on you begging so you were a motor. Tap was his any in a tin or courtism, which is a which is a wizard and Kerafia, Kero, Kero Mafia, mysticism. It's not part of ordinary. Ordinary lies their baskets. All of them are inside the baskets. You all have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much, Cherry Alkebulan. You all have a wonderful evening. Bye.